Hello and welcome to another lecture on integrals. Now so far we have studied about definite integrals and today in this segment of integrals we are going to discuss some properties of definite integrals that are quite useful in determining or evaluating the value of a given definite integral. Later we shall be evaluating a numerical problem that would be based on determining or evaluating the value of the given definite integral. Now beginning this lecture by the properties of definite integral, the following are the certain general properties of definite integral. The first one of which is stated as integral with lower limit a and upper limit b fx dx is equal to integral with same limits that is lower limit a and upper limit b fy dy. That means if fx be the differential coefficient of phi x then each is equal to phi b minus phi a the result is being independent of x it is plainly immaterial whether x or y is used in the process of obtaining the indefinite integral in the second property if integral with lower limit a and upper b fx dx is equal to integral of with lower limit a and upper limit c fx dx plus integral c to b fx dx where c lies between a and b. If fx be the differential coefficient of phi x then the left hand side is equal to phi b minus phi a and right hand side is equal to phi c minus phi a plus phi b minus phi c which is equal to phi b minus phi a. Thus this integral is equal to summation of integral obtained by evaluating fx from a to c and fx from c to b. According to the third property, if fx is integrated with respect to x with lower limit a and upper limit b, its value would be same as that of integral with lower limit b and upper limit a fx dx with just an addition of a negative sign that is integral of fx dx with limits a to b is equal to minus of integral b to a of fx with respect to x. We have another property in which integral fx with respect to x with lower limit 0 and upper limit a is equal to integral with the same limits and the function is being replaced by f a minus x which is to be integrated with respect to x. The next property states that integral with limits 0 to 2a fx dx is equal to summation of two integrals that is obtained by integrating fx dx with the limit 0 to a and integrating f 2a minus x with respect to x with limits 0 to a. Now the sixth property states that if fx be such that f 2a minus x is equal to fx then property 5 can be rewritten as integral 0 to 2a fx dx is equal to twice of integral fx dx with limit 0 to a and this is obtained by the use of fifth property that has been already discussed. Next we have another property in which if fx is equal to fa plus x then the definite integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit na fx dx is equal to n into integral of fx dx with limits 0 to a and this function represent the periodic function of the definite integral. The next property gives us the value of fx dx with lower limit minus a and upper limit a. If fx is an even function then this integral will have a value equal to twice of fx dx with limits 0 to a and if fx is an odd function then 
the integral of fx dx with lower limit minus a and upper limit a is equal to 0. The last property states that the value of integral fx dx with lower limit a and upper limit b is equal to integral of f a plus b minus x with respect to x with lower limit a and upper limit b. These properties of definite integrals help us in evaluating the value of the given definite integral in a much simpler and convenient way. Now we are going to discuss a numerical problem that would be based on determining or evaluating the value of the given definite integral. Now here in the given problem we have to evaluate the value of the integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit 1 and fx here is given as x into root of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square with respect to x. Now here first of all we put x square equal to cos y which implies that 2x dx is equal to minus sin phi d phi. Now when x is equal to 0 then phi gets the value of pi by 2 since x is equal to root of cos phi. Similarly if x is equal to 1 then phi will get the value of 0. Next we are going to write the value of this integral as 1 by 2 integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit 1 root of 1 minus x square divided by root of 1 plus x square into 2x dx. This can be rewritten by substituting the value of x square equal to cos phi and replacing the limits of the integral. We have this integral equal to 1 by 2 integral with limit pi by 2 to 0 root of 1 minus cos phi divided by root of 1 plus cos phi into minus sin phi d phi. This can be further rewritten as minus 1 by 2 integral of root 2 sin phi by 2 divided by root 2 cos phi by 2 into sin phi d phi with limits pi by 2 to 0 which can be rewritten as 1 by 2 integral of sin phi by 2 divided by cos phi by 2 into 2 sin phi by 2 into cos phi by 2 d phi with limits 0 to pi by 2. Two. Now here we have utilized property number 3 that we have discussed earlier which states that integral of fx dx with lower limit a and upper limit b is equal to minus of integral fx dx with lower limit b and upper limit a. Now this integral can be rewritten as 1 by 2 integral of 2 sin square phi by 2 d phi with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi by 2. Now we are going to again convert this into cos phi as 1 by 2 integral 1 minus cos phi d phi with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi by 2. Now integrating this term we have the value as 1 by 2 into phi minus sin phi with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi by 2 which on simplification gives us a value that is obtained by simplifying 1 by 2 into pi by 2 minus sin phi by 2 minus 0 minus 0 which is equal to 1 by 2 into pi by 2 minus 1 and thus we have this equal to pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 thus on evaluating the value of integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit 1 with function x into root of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square dx is equal to pi by 4 minus 1 by 2. Now this value has been obtained by utilizing the property of definite integral that we have discussed in this section. With this we conclude this lecture on integrals which was based on the properties of definite integrals and evaluation of a definite integral by the use of the properties that we have discussed today.